Hi, welcome to hybrids.co.nz, New Zealand based hybrid battery testing lab. Years ago, we have designed and built the best in the industry hybrid battery testing complex. Our battery analyzers work around the clock in workshops in USA, Europe, Australia, and parts of Asia. 14 and 20 channel battery analyzers make battery testing and rebuild a straightforward process. We do remotely control our analyzers during testing, so there is no need to stay close to the batteries. A piece of cake when you have right tools. People mention buzz bar corrosion frequently. Sometimes corrosion goes up and kills battery controller. We found only one corroded controller during testing of those 1000 modules. Our analyzers help to identify failed cells inside multi-cell modules. Those failed modules may still show high capacity readings. We discard those faulty modules and do not use them in battery rebuilds. Unfortunately, inexperienced battery rebuilders and module sellers equipped with toy tools are unable to spot those and may consider them good and usable. 20 modules packs in this test have been assembled from failed Prius, Camry, Aqua and Lexus batteries. Apart from a few packs, majority are a mix of modules manufactured between 2003 and 2016. It takes us 30 seconds to check module's manufacture date in every pack and see if it is genuine pack or rebuilt. We are not showing you in this video extreme cases where three-year-old packs from taxi were completely worn out after 300,000 kilometers. We sort out blown, leaky and dead modules. Those can be easily identified with visual inspection and multimeter. That counts for about 3% of failed modules before the tests even begin. Test results are automatically recorded into a database and displayed in various graphic formats. Low tests were conducted on one of our 20 channel battery analyzer under 7 amp load. High load can be used if needed. You may wonder why test results show capacity about 4 amp hours on average. The fact is, we do not charge modules too high and do not discharge them too low. We use 2 kW 7 amp load in our tests. When you use one amp load in your toy RC tool and discharge to lower levels, you will come up with the much higher measured capacity, but will certainly miss failed modules. And that's where the problem is. There are a lot of faulty modules out there tested by toy tools claiming high capacity but not suitable for battery rebuild. We can say with high level of certainty based on our stats that at least 12% of those modules out there are faulty. As you can see from test results, the 15 year old modules taken from the low mileage cars can still perform similar to the 5 year old modules. It is not the age which kills the battery, it is number of charge discharge cycles, mileage in other words. Other reasons for battery failures are clogged cooling fan, overheat of the battery as a result, and loss of the electrolyte. There is one popular myth in the industry of battery rebuild. They say, only one module is dead. Change it and she'll be fine. Usually it's not the case. There was only one such battery pack from Prius C in these tests. There is more than just one bad module on average. We have discarded dead modules before tests even started, but still we were able to discover 12% of bad modules during our comprehensive tests. 
Unfortunately for DIY people equipped with multimeter only and or RC charger, those failed modules is not that easy or even possible to identify. Our battery testing complex is business out of the box with a fast return on investment. You can start your own battery rebuild business out of your garage or add it to your hybrid repair workshop. Thank you for watching.